This tutorial video will demonstrate how to use the A-Mesh feature. First, prepare two aircraft and one remote controller. A-Mesh Link Place the two aircraft at takeoff points more than 5 meters apart. Long press both aircraft's power button to turn them on. Open the Enterprise application on the remote controller. Tap on the A-Mesh Link feature in the toolbox. Select Add Device and follow the instructions. Short press and then long press the aircraft power button. The rapid flashing of the aircraft arm's light indicates that it has entered A-Mesh Link mode. The remote controller will display that the two aircraft are connected. Tap Complete to confirm the linking process, then linking is completed. Return to the main menu. Once the video transmission interface appears, you can use the A-Mesh control. A-Mesh control. The All option at the bottom of the remote controller indicates multi-aircraft control mode. You can also individually control each aircraft. Tap All to enter multi-aircraft control mode. Then long press the takeoff button on the remote controller. Both aircraft will start their motors and take off simultaneously. You can also manually start their motors and take off both aircraft by the control sticks. After a successful takeoff, it is recommended to ascend to over 30 meters and enable the formation flight feature. Formation flight. Tap the formation flight feature in the toolbox. Ensure that both aircraft obstacle avoidance enabled. After enabling formation flight, the aircraft will automatically form a formation and align their direction. You can control the formation flight by using the remote controller. You can also adjust the distance between the two aircraft. A Mesh Polygon Mission Before executing missions, you need to exit the formation flight feature. Tap the Polygon Mission in the toolbox. Create a Polygon Mission and save it. Select the Polygon Mission you just created and execute it. The mission will automatically be assigned to the two aircraft. The aircraft will fly to their respective starting points and begin executing the missions. After completing the mission, the aircraft will return home. Relay Operation For a single aircraft, if there are obstacles like mountains blocking the signal, the aircraft will lose connection with the remote controller. You can use a lead aircraft to maintain the video transmission signal. First, take off the A-Mesh lead aircraft and hover it above the obstacle. Switch the pilot control to the member aircraft. Then fly the member aircraft to the mission area. You will see that the video transmission of the member aircraft is normal and the signal is not affected by the obstacle. Now you can continue to assign missions to the member aircraft. AMAC – Autel Mobile Awareness Kit If you need an additional remote controller to view the lead controller's screen, you can add the controller to the team during AMESH Link to become an AMAC. After AMESH Link is completed, the AMAC can view the lead remote controller's screen synchronously. The AMAC does not have the ability to control the aircraft. It can only view different camera feeds or use split-screen display of the current aircraft. AMESH Information Sharing When using AMAC, if the lead controller activates the AI recognition feature, the detected target will also be displayed on the AMAC. Both controllers can use the pinpoint feature on the map anytime, and the pinpoint can also be edited. The pinpoint will be shown on both controllers simultaneously. This is how to use the AMESH feature. Thank you for watching.